Hey, 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 Whipper Snappers, this is Tortimer the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft on the Time Shot server. Today, we've got a lot of really fun stuff. Well, not, I, I don't know. It's, <laughs> we've got a lot of really fun stuff to do. Uh, but we've got some fun stuff to talk about, uh, for sure. Uh, and we're going to be doing some work uh, around the Donator Hall here. We've made some serious progress since the last time... You guys probably saw it, um, because I was trying to get the place done for the world download, uh, which happened at the end of last month. Uh, I guess about a month from when you guys are seeing this episode was the last world download. And so I tried to get a lot done. I don't know that I've made much progress progress, prog with, um, in the subsequent month, uh, but... Um, I'm also pre-recording this uh, a bit, so uh, there's that. But yeah, so we I think pretty much what's here is what would have been on the world download if you guys managed to play around with that or look at the overview or map or anything like that. Um, I still need to figure out exactly how I want to cap off these towers in the corners. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway. Today I want to talk to you guys about the results of uh, the fundraising stream that we did, uh, the fundraising slash charity stream we did towards the beginning of March? March 13th or something I think it was on. Um, so mid, mid-ish March, I guess. Um, and we've just had so much other time shot stuff happening. I think the day before that stream is when we recorded all the end stuff. And so I just, I've had so much other stuff going on. Just getting this in, uh, has taken me longer than I expected. So I apologize, uh, for that. For those of you guys who donated, we'll be getting you guys memorialized, uh, today. Memorialized. That sounds bad. Uh, we'll put, be putting your... You're, I don't know, memorialized is fine. <laughs> we'll be getting that in place uh, today, uh, as well as talking about the results of that stream. Um, so uh, there we go. Um, I did a little bit of tweaking here uh, in the donator hall. Um, since even the world download, I guess, I just, like, I think last night uh, put these in place. I, I had put the... I'd switched these. I'd had, like, two sections of fence next to each other, and then the chisel block in the corner. And I decided I needed to move that out. It didn't. It wasn't feeling right, and so I think I like it a little bit better now. Um, but uh, but yeah. So uh, I believe yes, we're on by ourselves for the moment. So let's quickly jump into bed, get this night passed, and then we will jump up top uh, where we're gonna be putting um, uh, all of the little sheep. Uh, we'll be putting all of what are we? What are, it's not a memorial because that's like somebody dies. So what do we call? <laughs> I guess, I don't know, I don't know. Where where are the sheep for those who donated in the uh, donation, uh, the fundraising crush charity stream that we did uh, mid-March, which was uh, uh, to help raise funds for the channel as well as 25% uh, of all of those funds uh, were going to be donated to Compassion International. Um, and so, okay, so we've got to get, um, for those of you guys who do not remember since the last time we were here, it's been a little while. Um, this first level, the orange level here, is uh, where we're going to be, where we put all of our Patreons. Um, and we've got them broken up by quadrants, so we've got iron, gold, diamond, and emerald um, levels of Patreons. And then those same levels are reflected up top, so we've got... Uh, up on top level here are going to be one-time donators, um, just like random one-time donators. If you choose to donate to the channel through PayPal or something like that, or through like our Spreadshirt shop or something of that nature, uh, you can do so uh, and, and your sheep will end up in here. But if you're a one-time donator who... Uh, we, and by that, I guess I mean you're not on a recurring basis like the Patreons down on the main level. But if you donate in, in as part of a campaign that we're doing, um, like the charity and slash fundraising stream that we did to raise funds for the channel and charity, um, you'll end up up top here. Um, now... We had quite a few, over a dozen people, Baker's Dozen actually, we had a Baker's Dozen worth of people who actually donated to that stream, so I want to thank you guys all so much. Um, we are not going to have room for all of you right now, but let's do, let's do as many as we can, and, uh, and we'll move on from there. Okay, so, let's get these knocked out here, so the first one on my list is Gemma Girl who I think already has two other sheep, maybe? Or maybe she's just got the one... Gemma Girl's a Patreon of mine. I don't remember if Gemma's got a one-time donating sheep or not. 
uh, as well. No, I don't think. I don't think so. Well, okay, I can look. Uh, no, she does not. So this will be Gemma's second sheep in the donator hall. Uh, this will be Mara. Mara from the Time Shot server. Mara donated uh, during the stream as well, and so she's going to be getting her first sheep here in the uh, donator hall. Um, all right, Sked. Scad donated during the stream, so she's going to be getting her second sheep in the donator hall. Let's get... Uh, do, 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 do. After Scad is going to be Pedro. Pedro Mato. Mato. There we go. Pedro, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, next, let's see, let's see, let's see. D Miner. D Miner gets his second sheep in the uh, donator hall here, so that's exciting. Thank you so much, D. Um, and then, so on top of all of you getting a named sheep, Klungar gets his second sheep. Yep. There we go. Um, for those of you guys who um, have donated, you get a sheep named in your honor, as well as J Seed. Uh, thank you so much for your donation for sheep in the donator hall. Uh, as well as you get to pick the color of your sheep. And so we've got all these dyes here because we're going to be dyeing the sheep as well. Dave from the Time Shot server popped in for a minute and gave us a donation. So thank you so much, Dave. Um, okay, so we'll start with that batch, and then we'll we'll come back down. Okay, so we need to we need to get up top here, and I took out the access ladder and things like that because I started I put in enough of the towers in order to be able to get. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Did these horses spawn in the water? That's kind of odd. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. Um, <clears throat> was there a ladder in this one? Only one of these actually has a ladder in it at this point. So, and I don't remember which which corner it's in. So we'll, we'll find it real quick. But yeah, so um, <clears throat> for those of you guys who donated, we'll be getting your sheep up there today. I think I've bred up enough sheep up there that we should be able to get everybody installed. Uh, I think we probably even have some extras. Uh, so we'll head up here. And uh, we will get that taken care of. I also want to make a note, uh, today is actually, as you're watching this, um, a couple of things happening, actually, I guess. Um, Alright, so let's, okay, we'll just make this one Dave, and Dave wanted to have a yellow sheep. So there you go, Dave. Thank you so much for your donation. Um, and then, um, while you guys are watching this, Pedro Mato, I haven't gotten a chance to get a hold of him yet to figure out what color he wants. He's the only one I haven't been able to get a color for yet, so we'll just leave that one red. Um, while you guys are watching this, this is actually, today marks my third year anniversary on YouTube. So I've been doing YouTube for three full years now as of this point, which is kind of crazy. Um, but there it is, three years. Uh, D Miner's color is cyan. Come back, D Miner! There we go. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, three years, which is crazy. Absolutely insane that we've been doing this that long. Um, all right, so who do I got here? Gemma girl, and Gemma wanted to be gray. There we go. Um, Scad heading back towards the herd. All right, um, who else we got? Klungar. Okay, so we have Mara. Mara wanted to be purple. There we go. Uh, Klungar wanted to be purple as well, actually. So we'll make Klungar purple. Okay, um, and who else we got left? With it, just J Seed, and J wanted to be regular blue. So there we go. There we go. We got that first batch in. But yeah, so today, as you guys are watching this, is my third year YouTube anniversary, which is insane. I mean, we've come such a far, long way. When I started doing YouTube, it was. <clears throat> Just something I was, you know, gonna do for fun. Uh, my job was really boring, and I, you know, went to I went to school to do like something creative. Um, and I'm a web developer, designer, graphic designer, all that kind of jazz. And uh, and then I ended up working at an engineering company and managing like documentation and things like that. And it's just boring. Um, but uh, 
Yeah, so I started doing this just for fun, and suddenly now, three years later, um, it's it's insane. So I want to thank you guys all so much for your support, uh, especially those of you guys who have chosen to to donate. Uh, flop, flop, thank you so much for your donation. Um, but also just those of you guys who have stuck around since the very beginning um, and, uh, and have really made doing all of this uh, so special. Starlet, thank you so much for, for your donation. I appreciate it greatly. Uh, because I, I, I wouldn't still be doing this at all if it wasn't for you guys and uh, all of your comments and, and likes and just interaction in general. And, you know, for those of you guys who have chosen to donate, like Taze Kitchy, thank you so much for your donation. Um, <clears throat> you know, it, it, that means a lot, a lot to me as well, uh, for sure. Um, Espresso Cat... You're getting your third sheep in the uh, in the donator hall here, so I greatly appreciate your continued support, uh, especially especially you, Ecat. You've been a, a friend of my channel since almost the very beginning, uh, and many of you guys have. Uh, you know, Scad and um, well, I guess the only other people on this list are probably Scad, but then there's lots of people who I've come up with. Um, you know, Kays is one of those guys who I've known for years now, um, and, uh, and, you know, Jay, and, uh, and obviously Klongar has been with me since the very beginning, Dima, some, I mean, some of you guys I've played on servers with, some of you guys are just dedicated viewers, and, uh, and I... Have they really diminished the cost of, of name tags? Is it like one level now? Hold on. Wait, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Is it like one level now? Because I got like 65 levels thinking I needed. It's one level now? Are you kidding me with that stuff? <laughs> I spent so much time at the Ender Farm getting 65 levels because I thought that's what I would need to. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Um, oh, crap. I looked. I think I think it's in the I think it's in the red, yellow corner. Um. But, uh, yeah, I mean, three years having gone by, we started just doing uh, Pokemon stuff. Then we played Cube World for a little while, because Cube World had just come out around that time. Um, really kind of sad still that that game never really took off, or that they... Not that they didn't take off, but that it, they, it took off so well, and then they decided to stop updating the game. Uh, Ecant, Espresso Cant, there's your sheep. Thank you so much. Think you wanted to be the white sheep? Yes, you did. Which will stand out pretty good against everything else, so that works out nicely. Um, all right, so let's head this way. Okay, unnamed sheep. This will be Kay's Kishi, and Kay's Kishi wanted to be Cyan. So there you go. Thank you so much for your donation, Scad Mara. This person looks unnamed. We'll make this one Kay's. <laughs> Get K's and K's Kishi knocked out, and K's wanted to be Lime for his beloved Emeralds. Okay, okay, good. I was worried it would accidentally die J Seed instead. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, and let's see, we got Starlet and Floblob. Starlet obviously must have wanted to be Cyan. Yes, she did. So there we go. Thank you so much, Star, for your support. Um, and then Floblob wanted to be Lime. So there we go. All of the sheep have now been named, and so this whole top ring is gonna just be, you know, for campaign donators. Uh, and I'm gonna clear out the rest of these sheep for now. I just bred, bred, bred a bunch so that I would for sure have enough, uh, and uh, and figured I'd clean up the rest later. Um, so we'll do a we'll do a quick round, make sure we've got all our sheep and just our sheep up here for our donators. Uh, Pedro, D Miner, Gemma, Dave, I think that might be good. I think that might be good. So yeah, there's 13 of you guys up here. And seriously, thank you guys so much for your support of the channel. Um, especially, you know, profound today on our three year anniversary. Uh, while you guys are watching this, uh, me and the Klungar, and, uh, Klungar's my brother, and, uh, a number of the time shotters are at PAX East today, so that's exciting. We're having fun there, so I hope you guys are... Uh, I think uh, one a, a vlog should have gone up either last night or early this morning um, for the first day there. We we're we're going to be there Thursday through Sunday. Um, so there's going to be some vlogs going up, um, and so you guys will finally get to see uh, the fabled Tortimer face, uh, which will be very anticlimactic for you, I'm sure. 
But uh, that'll be happening. So be sure to check out those vlogs. Uh, I, I've never really done any vlogging before, so hopefully they're not unbearable to watch. But going to try and uh, and do those um, every day while we're here at PAX so that you guys can can check those out. Hopefully that works out. I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that that's how that's going to play out. Obviously, I'm pre-recording this because, as I said, I'm at PAX right now. Um, and so, um, yeah. But uh, anyway, I think that's everybody, and I think we've cleared up all the extras. So thank you guys so much for watching. Not, not for watching. <laughs> this episode's not over, but thank you so much for donating. Uh, it really means a lot to me. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so if you guys have interest in, uh, in donating to the channel in the future, not, not those of you guys who have already donated, because I think those of you guys who have donated are probably pretty well aware, but uh, it, for those of you, if anybody who's watching who has an interest in donating in the future, there's lots of ways you can do that. Um, Namely, through either Patreon, if you want to do continued support. Um, Patreon, if you if you become a patron, you'll get a, a sheep down in this bottom ring. Um, if you go to my PayPal, you can donate, uh, do a one-time donation up here. And or if you want to... Um, uh, if you want to buy something from like my Spreadshirt shop, or shortly, probably, probably sometime next month. So I'm talking May here. Uh, so it, probably in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be opening up... Not really opening up, but I'm going to be also having like an eBay shop. I've got lots of um, just like geek memorabilia and things like that. I've recently been setting up my office, uh, resetting up my office um, and kind of shaking things up. I had this bookshelf. My desk is really huge. And so I had this bookshelf sitting on the back of my desk um, that had all this stuff on it and all this geeky stuff I've gathered over the years and I've kind of shook it up now. I've got, I've got more just like a couple of small floating shelves and some paintings and some things like that. Uh, my beloved uh, signed uh, Captain Jean-Luc Picard picture and things like that. So, uh, you know, it's a little less space for some of that kind of stuff. Plus I have a lot of other things that just never really have gotten put out. And I'm going to be selling some of that stuff to raise funds for the channel. Um, and so probably there will be a link uh, coming out soon. I'll probably do a video when I put that up. Um, but eBay, I'll be selling some of that stuff. And so anything that you guys put, uh, if you decide to you know, donate while also getting yourself one of those cool things, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, and that'll be probably coming up sometime next month. Uh, but yeah, so lots of uh, ways you guys can donate. Um, and uh, any, pretty much all of them, well, all of them will get you... Uh, uh, a memorial. It's not a memorial. I don't know. What do, what do I call it? Get you a get you a, a monument uh, in here in the form of a colored sheep. So, if you donate in the future, uh, and, and if you can remember to let me know what color sheep you would like to have as you donate, uh, that would be helpful to me because. Otherwise, then I've got situations like Pedro, who I've never seen him in my comments, but he showed up to my donation stream um, and and donated, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, but I honestly don't know how to get a hold of him now to uh, figure out what color sheep he wants. So, um, you know, we'll hope that that happens soon. But if you guys can remember, if you do some donation in the future, to just let me know what color sheep you want, uh, and we should be good to go. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. So that's that's that. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy to think we've been doing this for three years. As I said, started with just Pokemon stuff, which we're still doing. Uh, because I built up kind of my initial fan base um, purely around Pokemon stuff because I think for like the first you know six months of my channel it was I was just I was only doing one series and it was a single Pokemon run and so pretty much everyone who came aboard during that time is a Pokemon fan um, and uh, so I continue doing that one because Pokemon is one of my favorite games uh, as well as uh, you know all of those dedicated fans like Scad, like Ecat, like Aaron um, and, and all the other guys who have been around for a real long time, um, that's what they love. And, and most of my, most of my Patreons, um, with the notable exceptions of, I believe, um, now I, I need to put up signs, but I think, yeah, Jordy and, uh, Gemma Girl, yeah, Gemma Girl's the pink one over here, um, are both Patreons that are relatively recent, um, and the rest of these guys, though, are all fans of the Pokemon stuff, so because they, they you know, do a lot of, you know, support, or, or a large portion of the support for this channel, um, I, I do that, and I'm going to continue to do that for that, that community, but, uh, yeah, Pokemon stuff, play a little Cube World before that game kind of died out, um, and then got into Minecraft, where I started a single-player world just around the time that 1.7 came out, um, because I believe I started that world in 1.6 and then converted to 1.7 very shortly thereafter. Um, so I started that just before 1.7 came out, and, uh, and so yeah, we did that for a little while before uh, I kind of got burnt out on that a bit. 
Um, and so then I started doing some other things. I think I started a Pixelmon series uh, with my friend Cluster. Um, while continuing to run my Pokemon series and things like that. And then eventually I got invited to the Farside SMP server. Um, <clears throat> which was a fun time while it lasted and uh, then Farside w died and I had started a bunch of other series like Minecraft Lord of the Rings and, and Minecraft Jurassic World and uh, so a lot of Minecraft growth over the years especially from those two series and, and now Time Shot um, shortly you know uh, a while into you know Jurassic World um, I started feeling the itch to get back into Vanilla SMP and so uh, I, I had been on a Pixelmon server with Wynn and, and uh, April and Huck and you know all these other people who are, who are on Timeshot and, and Asia and, uh, and so ended up uh, coming on to Timeshot here which we you know obviously got some growth from that as well. Uh, but yeah, it's just been a crazy wild ride these last three years, and so I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to continue to, you know, keep up as we have done. I, you know, I've had spurts of where I kind of overload myself, and I gotta remind myself, you know, like, you know, you've, you're a grown, you're a grown man who's got a job and a wife and now a dog and a mortgage and car payment, like, you gotta, you gotta make sure you keep this reasonable, and so, uh, you know. I know people would probably love to see more content per week, you know, per for each season every week and but it's like if I if I can keep myself in check and and not get out carried away with doing too many too many updates per week or too many series or whatever um, then I I can continue doing this uh, for a lot longer that way. Um, and so uh, yeah, so I hope you guys aren't too frustrated when, when like I only update your favorite series once a week. I hope you guys understand it's 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 either it's 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 kind of an all or nothing sort of thing. It's like I either do this in a way that I can I can keep it under control, or or I have to go like the Fultron route and realize well I can't do both this and a normal life, so I I have to I have to choose you know normal life sort of thing because unfortunately real life is uh, is easily the most important thing in anybody's life and and I know a lot of us find refuge here you know uh, serious introvert and things like that and so uh, it just kind of has been a nice community to get involved with, you know, <clears throat> uh, since, since I graduated from college and things like that, you know, it's, it's kind of been, I keep in touch with even my best friends from school and we loved, you know, lived together for many years and all that. Um, but even, you know, keeping in touch with them, it's mostly online or texting or playing video games together through Steam or whatever. Like, so, uh, I am as in coach close of touch with, you know, a lot of my YouTube friends as I am with some of my real life friends these days. And, and so it's, it's just kind of a, a weird, a weird mix, but, uh, but yeah, it's been a it's been a really fun ride, and I'm looking forward to the future. We've got um, some things are going to be falling off during the summer because my wife will be home. Obviously, she's a teacher, and so that makes things a little more difficult for me to find time to do things. You know, if I come home for lunch, then she's here, and I you know then we'll eat lunch together as opposed to me being able to play video games or you know recording in the mornings a little more difficult because she's home asleep, and so try not to disrupt you know that. Although I probably will still be able to make that particular time slot work at least, and I'll fit stuff in as I can. I'm going to try and a lot of pre-recording um, as is possible and all of that but um, let's head to spawn let's head to spawn um, but yeah thank you guys all the donators thank you so much um, I hope you guys uh, know how much it means to me um, but uh, yeah so actually speaking of the donators I want to I want to talk about as we head to spawn um, you know, I've kind of talked about our journey and all that, but I want to talk. I do want to talk about the stream because I haven't, I haven't really like gotten an update, given you guys an update on that. And since we're putting all the donators in from that stream, um, I wanted, to, I wanted to make sure I did that today. Uh, that's kind of always been my plan, and so it's, it's taken me too long to get this information out to you guys. But um, we ended up raising. 500 and some dollar or 500 oh my gosh no 305 305 some and some change um dollars which was amazing thank you guys so much for all of you guys who donated um that was really awesome of you guys um and i know that like uh Kays, one of our donators also donated um uh, he's a good friend of mine, and he does a lot of Cinema 4D stuff, and he donated a render to uh, anybody. We did kind of a raffle, so if you donated $20 or more, you got your name entered in a raffle, um, and uh, Klungar ended up winning that, and so Case is doing a render, a free render for Klungar, uh, so Minecraft render or whatever, uh, and so that was very cool, so congratulations, Klungar, for winning that. But um, <clears throat> part of uh, part of the stream was, it was fundraising, but also charity. Um and so 25% of that $305 ended up being like <clears throat> 76 and change or something like that. 
uh, dollars. Um, and uh, since we're donating to Compassion International, um, you know, it, that pretty much works out to. I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it up a little bit to. I think it's like seventy eight dollars or something like that, um, which would be two months of support. Um, for a, a child uh, uh, through the Compassionate International System, it's usually like 36 or, or so, or $38, or I don't remember exactly the exact number, but it's 30 some plus dollars um, to uh, to support a child through Compassionate International, and you kind of adopt that child, and, uh, and, and you can really change the life of a child in a third world country. Uh, and so basically, um, I think that's the best way for us to use that dollar, since it kind of worked out to about those two months support. One of the things I've wanted to do through my Patreon, um, if we ever get enough Patreon support, we're like, we're, we're making, uh, I think the cat of where I've put it is like $50 a month. If we get to $50 a month on Patreon, my goal is to, uh, kind of as a channel, oh, hey. Check that out. Uh, Pudsy. Pudsy is a new member of uh, of the server here, uh, and she's been doing some good work on her house. I won't peek inside there because I've seen I've seen the episode, and I'm sure by the time this goes up that her episode of doing the inside will have gone up, but I don't want to spoil it for myself even. But I saw the episode of her doing this here, and it's at spawn, so yeah. But looking good. Looking good, Pudsy. But yeah, so Pudsy's on the server now. I guess by the time this video comes out, we could have more new members. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, so Pudsy is on the server. Um... But yeah, so what we're going to be doing with the 25%, well, it's going to be more like 30% probably. Um, I'm bumping it up to make it two months of support uh, for a child. And my wife and I uh, recently uh, adopted a, a little kid um, through Compassion International. And when I say adopted a child through Compassion International, it's not like we're not actually like adopting a kid like coming to live with us or whatever but you you kind of you kind of adopt them in the in terms of that you support them. Um, and so your donation every month or whatever goes to helping that kid's life become better and things like that. Uh, and so we adopted a little nine-year-old girl in Africa. Um, I believe she is in Uganda. Um, and uh, and her name is Mupa. And so uh, if I remember, I'll try and scan a picture of her and, and show you guys that because um, I just figured because of the way that that worked out um, to... Uh, to come up, come out at almost exactly two months support uh, uh, for for a kid that uh, that's kind of how we would do that. There are other ways you can donate to Compassion International via um, different mediums or whatever, but um, I figured that's the way we do that. So that that seventy eight ish dollars will um, I think the twenty five percent was seventy six, but we're gonna bump it up to whatever the full two months support is. I'll I'll take a little lower cut uh, for the channel, um, and we will be supporting uh, that that little girl as part of the of the channel. So the Tortimer McGray community is uh, helping to make the life of a little girl much better. Uh, and so I appreciate that. Um, that's something really powerful to me. And I hope that you guys uh, are, are proud to be part of that cause. So uh, thank you guys so much. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm so happy to have uh, uh, been able to be part of your guys' lives for three years. I'm so happy that you guys have been able to be a part of my life. Uh, it's been so much fun getting to know uh, all of my whippersnappers over the last several years. Um, and especially those of you guys who who comment all the time or who have chosen to donate or who you know who have been part of some of my subscriber engagement series or or whichever just getting to know some of you guys i feel like some of you guys are, are you know friends of mine uh and so um you know that's that's really cool to me and the kinds of things that we get to do as a community you know like supporting this little girl i want to do a lot more of um earlier this month we did the the charity stream with time shot um, which is actually in a couple days for me as I record it, uh, but I'm, uh, you know, based on what the community came out and did the last time Time Shot did this, I'm expecting great things there as well, which is half the reason why I want to join this community, because I just think that's awesome. Um, uh, if you go to my Patreon, it says family friendly gaming videos with a purpose. And I think that, you know, if we can get c committed communities together, why not do something more than just, you know, playing or watching video games with that? I think that's awesome when we're able to do that. Uh, and so thank you guys so much for making the last three years so special. Um, I hope that I, I, you know, bring something of value to your guys' lives on some level. I know a lot, sometimes I get comments saying those sorts of things, which really, uh, really touch me. That, that means a lot. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I look forward to hanging out with you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torment the Grain. You guys have been great. Make sure to 
leave those likes, comments, subscriptions for me, guys, and I'll see you all back here next time. Make sure to check out the vlogs that are going out uh, all this weekend. Uh, one would have gone out yesterday. Uh, the video for what we w what we did today, Friday at PAX, will probably go up sometime late tonight and or tomorrow morning. Um, I still am not sure exactly. Uh, we didn't really raise enough to get a laptop during the fundraising stream, um, and so I'm going to try and... I think I found an app to edit vlogs with my phone, so hopefully that ends up working out. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Torm the Great, you guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comments, subscriptions for me, guys, and I'll see you all back here next time. Alrighty, guys, have a good one.